Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're all doing really well. Um, today I have a little haul for you. Um, I went in there this morning, okay, um, but I didn't have time to record it and show you what I bought because I had to get out and do stuff. It's actually later on in the night, it's like 8 o'clock. But I wanted to get it recorded so that I could get this meat put in the freezer because as you can see I got a quite a bit of orange labelled meat so I'd rather get it in the freezer so that I can use it another day. And I managed to pick up another couple of the waste knot boxes for £1.50. So um, I mainly went in Lidl this morning was to get some meat for our dinner tonight and some salad bits but having a look around I managed to pick up some good deals and then, like I said, a two more of the waste knot boxes at the checkout. So all in all, today in Lidl, I spent £50.69p. We did get a few pastries and they are gone because like pan of chocolates and croissants and all that. Look, the kids had some before school and me and Steve had some as well. So that's how much I spent this morning. And let's show you what I actually got. We'll start over here with the items I paid full price for. Um, like I said, we went in there for some salad bits. So I like these mixed cherry tomatoes. Normally I grow tomatoes and strawberries in my garden. But where we was up in arms on what's happening, whether we're moving out this year, next year or what, because we've got to be able to move at a drop of a hat. I haven't been out in my garden to grow like I usually do. So it's costing me a fortune in strawberries and a, a fortune in tomatoes as well. But as soon as we move, I will be able to get back out in my garden and start growing the food that we love. But cherry tomatoes, like I said, I like the variety for my salads. And if they're out on the kitchen side, I snack on them rather than biscuits and crap, to be truthful. So I tend to stock up on them while I, whenever I go into a shop, I grab them. Like I said about strawberries, these are gone. Like literally by the end of tomorrow, these will be gone. Um, Nathan has them in the, during the day. Hayley will have them in her packed lunch. They're only in season for a short period of time. So I only get them, I get them as much as I can while they're in season. We've got some British Romaine heart lettuce for was going to be tonight's dinner, but we didn't have that in the end. So we'll have it for tomorrow night's dinner. I picked up these Thai style king prawn fish cakes. I get these from Tesco's normally because we do love them, me and Steve. And I normally do them with uh, like a couple, couple for Steve, one for me. And then I normally have one the following day for my lunch with like new potatoes and salad on like the nights when the kids are having something else, if that makes sense. So like um, snap nights, if I've just got to cook for me and Steve. Or if the kids are all out and it's just me and Steve, then I'll have these. But I'll put these in the freezer until we are ready for them. And then I'll just defrost them. A couple of cucumbers for packed lunches and for obviously the salad we was meant to have tonight. But we'll have it tomorrow night. The meat that I chose for meant to be tonight, but it's going to be tomorrow night, was the salt and chilli belly pork. Steve is absolutely loving this stuff at the moment. And then the maple belly pork slices as well. And then whatever meat was going to be left over from tonight's dinner will go in um, Steve's packed lunches. But obviously we didn't cook this tonight. So this will go back in the fridge once I've shown you what we've got. And then I'll cook it tomorrow night and he will have it in his lunchbox the following day. Okay. So that's it. That's everything I paid for full price. And then the meats that I got with 30% off was great. They, I mean, I got a few bits, but they had tons. So, you know, it's always worth going to Lidl first thing in the mornings and seeing what um, orange labels you can pick up. I picked up two of these Texas barbecue style chicken drumsticks. And they cost me, where's the price? £2.09. Chloe loves these, so I was going to cook one of these up to go with our dinner as well. So I will put one of them in the fridge and I will cook that for tomorrow night's dinner as well. And then one will go in the freezer in a sandwich bag. 
so that it doesn't take up so much space in the freezer because look at all that air that's in there so there's two of them I picked up two of these Tikka chicken sizzler steaks as you can see one there and one there but the thing is the 11th the 11th is tomorrow it's not today so um, these will be fine anyway but these are going to go in the freezer ready for me to either use at barbecues or for me to pull out for Steve's pack lunches and they only cost me can we see there £2.30 for those two then I got four packets uh, yeah I know there's four but they I mean I they must have had at least 20 trays of chicken and five fillets um, they're boneless and skinless and they cost me Two seventy nine each um, to feed my family. This these four trays will probably do two meals and some leftovers for packed lunches or lunches the next day. So um, it saved us a few pennies. So that is everything there, and I'm going to pause the video, move this meat to a side, and then I will show you what is in these boxes. Okay, I'm back. And I've got both boxes in front of me, but I'm going to push one to the side and pull the items out one by item like I did in the last video. So they had out the front by the checkout about 10 boxes and um, I had Steve and Nathan with me. So while they were uploading the items on the checkout, I quickly ran over and see what boxes were good for us. And they had a right mixture, but I thought these two would be good for us because... There's bananas in them and you everyone knows Nathan. If if you've been here a while, you all know Nathan loves bananas. If you are not new here <laughs> No, if you are new here, Nathan is my two and a half year old son. He does have autism and he loves bananas as well as strawberries and raspberries and stuff. If I left this bunch of bananas on the kitchen side within his sight or reach it will be gone by the end of the day, which isn't a bad thing for say, because he could want worse things, if that makes sense, like biscuits and stuff. But on the other hand, too many bananas isn't exactly great either because it's high in natural sugar. But um, let's get on and show you what I've got in this box, shall we? We got a bag of the British miniature potatoes. And they look all right. I mean, there's one that's a bit squished but as far as I can tell they look fine and they'd be fantastic as a side of our salads and meats oh there's another mangled one there but you now I can always discard them we've got an orange which would be nice if I put that in the fridge that would be nice and refreshing we got oh gold a honeydew melon it looks a bit funny on the underneath but it's just um external by the looks of it it's not soft at all, completely fine. If I put that in the fridge, that'll be a nice refreshing snack for the kids after school tomorrow. Oh, that was heavy. Try and do that one-handed. We have an iceberg lettuce. Looks completely and utterly fine. Oh, hang on. There's a bit of a... It's starting to wilt a little bit there, but that might be because it's been in, my, in the box all day on my kitchen side. But you can always peel the outer leaves off. And that will do us this week because we have got a few salads on the menu. We have a couple of tomatoes. Again, fantastic to go with salads. We have some pak choy. It looks a bit dirty, but, you know, looks fresh. Other than the dirt that can be washed off, that looks completely fine. So I can do something with that because the kids are all at snap on Wednesday. So I've just got me and Steve to deal with. So I could look up a recipe to try and use that pak choy rather than giving it to the guinea pigs. We got a big bunch of bananas, which there is one. <clears throat> ah, how many bananas are there? Six? Three? Six, yeah. Six bananas. They will be gone within a couple of days with Nathan or Steve. Because like he'll have one for his packed lunch. Three days. Nathan, three days. That's if I limit him to one. 
but you know who can stop their kid from eating too much fruit we have a very sad looking courgette which um to be truthful i could just cut that end off give that to the guineas or bin it and then freeze that half or i could just literally cut it up and give it to the guinea pigs as a nice well i might i'm not going to give that bit to the guinea pigs cut that bit off give it a wash cut up give to the guinea pigs they will like that because i don't usually buy courgettes so it'll be a nice little different vegetable for the guineas we have a couple of oh very very ripe avocados which is or oh, that one's a, yeah it's very very ripe two very ripe avocados um the problem with that is we don't eat avocados but i'm pretty pretty sure my friend does so as soon as i finish recording this i'm gonna text her see if she does if not i'll text all my friends and see if they do and see if i can drop them off to them there's a bloody fruit fly flying around i hate fruit flies i hate putting my fruit in the fridge because i don't have space not to mention it can make the fruit not taste as nice you know what i mean it's nicer at room temperature but i hate all these fruit flies that you get this time of year how do you guys stop fruit flies in your house can you guys give me some hints or tips or something down below because they are driving me mad Ugh, hate fruit flies <laughs> mad mad mum and we have a pear which has a bit of a chip in but we can cut that off it's um really really hard still so we might leave that to ripen up and then um, cut that bit off and we got a humongous bulb of garlic so what i will do with that is i will prep it all and then put it in the freezer in garlic cloves rather than crush it up and all that lot and then when a recipe calls for a bulb of garlic not a bulb of garlic god is it bedtime yet guys i'm tired it's a long day a clove of garlic or a couple i can just pull them out rather than if it's processed in the freezer i wouldn't really know how much a clove of garlic would be if that makes sense so big head of garlic so that is one box that box can go on the floor second box let's get this recorded so i can go to bed we have we're going to put it over the other side another bag of pak choy this one looks a lot cleaner still fresh still lovely so we've got two packets of pak choy so pak choy so i'm going to look up a recipe to do me and steve for wednesday night dinner we've got a potted curly parsley looks okay i mean it looks a bit green down there but if give it some water and some sunlight i'm sure that'll be completely fine and then pot it up maybe if you want to make it last a bit longer apparently if you the reason it looks so well in there when you buy it but then dies shortly after is apparently there's like hundreds of seeds in there loads of plants so if you wanted to make these last um pot them up like divide it and pot it up and they will grow much more and you will get a much well a lot more bigger plants if that makes sense and now's the ideal weather time because you could put it outside so there's that a little hint for you guys a little hint and tip or hack or whatever you want to call it we have an eggplant or aubergine if you want to call it which i don't know if it's been dented or it's just deformed or wonky if you want to call it that um hundred percent truthful i've never tried an eggplant before um i've seen loads of recipes with it i've heard that it can be very uh watery if you don't cook it right um i don't know if it appeals to me as a vegetable or not but um we've got an eggplant i'll figure out something to do with that or see if i can find a new home for it <laughs> we've got a pomegranate which looks like it's beginning to turn um chloe likes pomegranate so what i will do is i'll cut three slots or slits in turn it upside down 
and whack it on the bun with a wooden spoon so all the seeds come out. That is the easiest way to do it. And I bet my dad wish he knew about that hint, that, that hack, because I remember my dad eating pomegranate on the floor when I was a kid, sitting there, or laying there, sorry, in front of the TV, and picking out every bloody seed. And he used to be there for ages, rather than the good, good old quick, give it a whack on the bum. But, um, yeah, rather than, I bet that's, that's a lot cheaper than buying the pre-packed stuff as well. And you get a lot more in the bulb as well. But we've got a pomegranate. <laughs> a long story there and a bit of my family um, memories. We got some asparagus, which I don't know if there's... It's been a bit squished because it's a bit mullered at the top. But on the front, they look fine. So I think it's going to be a case of open the packet and eliminate the minging looking ones give them a wash and see what is salvageable and then maybe that will end up on the dinner plate on wednesday night with the pak choy and then we have some oh upside down some fine beans which they are starting to turn as you can see some look all right but some are a bit yellow and I don't think these ones are meant to be yellow. Because um, I know as a gardener, I do like growing my veg. I know that you can actually buy yellow fine beans now. And purple ones as well. But I'm pretty sure they're not going to be that colour. So I'm going to have to sort through them. And probably the guinea pigs will have them. Because they do love a good old fine bean. Because I haven't got room on the meal plan for them. We have some more bananas so this has turned into a long video considering us it's going to be a quick one another six bananas we have another avocado this isn't as soft so i'm going to text my friend about that we've got two onions one with a bit more skin than the other one onions last a long time i store mine in the fridge i know you're not many but every time i've oh there's another fruit fly Every time I've stored potatoes or onions in a cool, dark place, even in the bags, they end up growing. At least if they're in the fridge, you get, I get, what well, I get a lot longer of a chance to cook with them. So, two stowaway onions. We have potatoes. One, two, three four they're quite big potatoes and all i've only got little hands five i mean they're not looking the best you know five potatoes but once you um peeled them and prepped them that they're fine you know they'll last a couple more days at least maybe a week if you like me and put them in the fridge <laughs> but um i'll use them in a recipe this week it won't be a problem and then we have another orange so that'll be nice and refreshing for a nice snack. We have a red pepper. So that could go in our salad. Looks a bit wrinkly, so I'd better get that in the fridge and um, make it last a bit longer. There we go. Oh, look, we've got another onion. So we've got three onions. We've got another bulb of garlic, which looks absolutely fine. It's starting to separate, but it's fine. There we go. And then we've got another bag of British miniature potatoes. And again, these look fine. They can do for dinner this week. So um, let's put this box down. Bear with me and I'm going to put these lots of items together and show you what I got for £3 in vegetables. There we go, guys. Another couple of great boxes from Lidl in the Waste Not boxes. £1.50 each. So for £3, I got 12 bananas, an iceberg lettuce, two bags of miniature potatoes, three avocados, two oranges, two bulbs of garlic, three onions, <laughs> pomegranate, two packets of pak choy, oranges, green beans, parsley, a whole lot. 
there we go i'm just going to go back and then you can see everything that i got really guys try and get to lidl early in the mornings or around nine o'clock nine thirty. that tends to be when the boxes go out in my local one and i think it's around that time for pretty much everyone see what you can save and see what goodies you can get in a waste not box if you do manage to get your hands on one drop me a comment down below and send me a picture through instagram look me up on you me and the family and um, follow and then you can see my posts and um, you'll be able to comment and uh, connect with me via private message and show me your vid your photos so um as you can tell my language or speech is depleting quite quickly so i'm going to get this lot put away i'm going to get the meat put in the freezer and i'm going to bed or actually i'm going to have a shower first then i'm going to bed i hope you have a fantastic night and i will see you in my next shopping haul guys take care bye just wanted to jump in here and say me being half asleep i forgot i got a pork shoulder joint in lidl as well with 30 percent off so it only cost me four pound two p but it was hidden in my fridge and i forgot to pull it out and add it into this video so here is my pork shoulder joint <laughs>